Welcome to SAP Careers and Job Seekers Group, and this is Sam. We are going to talk about work and life balance. So you work, uh, however, you also have your personal life. So those with family, those who are bachelors, as well as those who are uh, matured professionals, how do you balance your work and life? And what does a typical day in SAP world look like for a consultant? So let's start by talking about generally all levels of consultant, whether you are a junior consultant, senior consultant, or you know you are an architect or a project manager or a director, it does not really matter. So what you will do is you will start the morning by getting up, uh, doing your morning chores, and then you, uh, if you have to commute, you will commute to your workplace, which is roughly, uh, let's look at one hour of commute. During this commute hours or during this break period, uh, let's call it a break period, uh, you would like to retrospect and look at what is the pending task and what have you got to do for the day. So uh, let's say uh, you start at uh, 8.30 and then you reach your workplace at 9.30 uh, ballpark or you start at 7.30 and you reach your workplace at 8.30. Uh, so 7.30 to 8.30 is uh, conceptualization time where you'll think about what are your pending tasks, what have you got to do for the day, as well as learn some new topics along the way. So if you're driving or you're spending time, it's a great time to open up uh, some of those open SAP programs. You, uh, it's like YouTube channels. And then you would go out and look at the topics which you are working on. So there are developments in technology which you need to look at every day. So you, you stay abreast. So that's the first hour. Once you get to the office, you will jump onto your emails and look at the bunch of emails that you have. And you'll address those emails uh, in terms of priority. So some of them would be critical and you'll check up your meetings. So once you have done that, then morning, uh, normally there is a hurdle uh, through the agile methodology, what we call as activate or the scrum methodology, where you will have to look at your product backlogs and we have a morning hurdle uh, just to kind of uh, pan out and see what are the work pressures and what are the tasks pending for the day for each of those individuals. This is like a quick hurdle. It's not a, it's not like a formal, a get together or a meetup of the project manager or steering committee is just like a quick meetup to check what is pending and normally the scrum master or the project coordinator or project manager will take this once you have done that the next task would be to looking at your critical areas resolving your critical areas so whilst you have resolved some of the critical tasks which are high priority ones you will hit the lunch break and once you are in the lunch break let's say it's 12 30 to 1 30 uh, or 45 minutes, 12.30 to uh, 1.15, you will go out uh, for your lunch, you have your relaxed time, and then you come back. And again, uh, you might have another meeting to attend, right? So you will, uh, so once you attend the second meeting, so there's a morning meeting and the afternoon meeting, in a lot of cases, uh, the afternoon meetings are more of a follow-up previous meetings, and people might come from the business side, it might be your colleagues coming from, uh, you know, your, other business areas, like if you're FIC or professionals, you have to integrate really with all the modules. So materials management, sales and distribution, production planning, supply chain management, warehouse management, project system, uh, human resources, production planning. So you will actually look at those meetings quickly and then get onto your configuration or development. So if you are a configurator, you, you go to uh, start up your configuration, which is SPRO in the IMG side. And if you are a developer, you'll go out and do your SE transactions, which are development, SE38, SE39, uh, or SE80, which is a browser. You'll go to those transactions. And if you are a system administrator, then you look at your system administration daily routine tasks. So the morning piece is meetings, critical tasks. After afternoon is meetings, uh, critical meetings, which are to be addressed. And then again, the tasks, which are normal routine tasks that you will address in the afternoon. Once you have done that, then it's time to wrap up. So by 4.30, 5.30, you will try and wrap up your tasks. Uh, in most cases, you will have to do a lot of analysis because SAP is an analytic system. So it's said that you get $100 an hour you are paid $99 to know where to click. And configuration is set up by mouse clicking, whether a right click or a left click. Le left click is more like properties or technical side, and the right click is more configuration. And then you type out 
your labels or transaction codes, whatever the case may be, depending on the module you're working on. So uh, that would be the second hour of the day. And then once you are done with that, you're back to your home and then you relax with your family and kids. However, having said this, uh, there are times when the work pressure is much more and there are times when work pressure is much less. Typically, critical work uh, for the day would be two to four hours and other is the light work. Uh, whenever there's a critical task, it's a high priority incident, for example, uh, then it needs to be resolved. And that's the time when you really have to put your head down and work it out. And this might be coming once in two weeks or once in a month when you have a really critical task. And there are two modes. Uh, one is a project mode, where in the project mode, you really are driven to complete each of the project milestones. So right from business blueprint or workshops uh, to requirement gathering and documentation, which is creating your business blueprint. And we'll talk about the blueprint uh, contents in another video. And then going out and configuring and creating a config guide and then completing your testing, your system integration testing, your functional integration testing, your regression test, your scenario test, and ultimately UAT. Uh, so those tasks are pretty intensive, specifically when you come to the UAT, and then moving your configuration from development to the production. Uh, those, that's called the cutover, that period, which is roughly a two week period or three week period is pretty intensive. So the project mode has got more stake then the operational mode. So if you're an operational support, let's say you're in a pharma company or in a manufacturing company or in a retail company such as Walmart or, or Amazon, or you're in a, a pharma company like Novartis or CVS Healthcare, then uh, in operational support mode, you will be tasked for a critical ticket maybe once in two weeks or once in a month. Uh, and once you have developed the habit of addressing this, and you might have to do multiple strategies to resource out uh, other than Dr. Google and chat GPT. You might have to go to SAP forums, SAP portal to look at SAP notes or side effects and resolve those. So those critical tasks have to be resolved, but in a project mode, uh, you have a higher deadline uh, criteria than in the operational mode. In the operational mode, you're in the support role. However, the project, mode consultants get a little bit higher payout because of the deadlines they have to meet versus the support consultant mode where it's a little bit more relaxed and normally uh, it's a more stable environment in terms of a nine to five uh, in a project mode when you are in a critical phase each of the quality gates let's say you are moving from uh, blueprinting to uh, configuration or configuration to testing those quality gates you'll be having to meet those deadlines and then you might have to do on those days extra hours. But typically, I would say uh, four hours ballpark would be the critical work. Others would be meetings and follow up and support role. So all in all, it's a very good life. Uh, you can right now work remotely. 100% remote jobs are available in SAP. Uh, there are some which are uh, both hybrid. That means you might have to go two days in the office and three days work from home. And it, it is really a great career to be in. Uh, specifically if you are a configuration consultant. If you are a project manager, then obviously you have to keep everybody happy and get the work done. So it's a little bit more stressful from a political standpoint, but if you are a consultant or a technical architect or a system administrator uh, or a technical lead or a functional lead, uh, life is fairly, fairly smooth. And if you start your journey in SAP, it might be a little bit stressful with what we call the honeymoon period, which is the first three months of your career when you start the first assignment, but it gets easy and it becomes like a beach after uh, maybe two to three years. However, having said that, you have to keep yourself updated technologically every day. So that commute time, or to call it the morning uh, or the first hour, you have to spend in upgrading your technology side. Evening is more relaxing with kids on TVs and going out and meeting friends. So it's, it's good payout. It's a great work-life balance. Again, as I said, payout is 80,000 to 250,000 in that range for a junior consultant to senior consultant, architects, project manager, and directors and VPs can get much higher. If you're a practice ed, you can get much higher, right? So hopefully this tells you the work-life balance of SAP consultant and makes you aware 
before you get into the SAP world and make the right call for you and your family. Thank you guys. This is Sam All signing off. Please do like and subscribe this channel. Uh, we train people in SAP under our college brand called mlccollege.com and we do uh, do project under uh, SAP Sol technology. We hire consultants both for projects and also our pre-sales and sales. Uh, we have a number of assignments and we also do in-house projects. So if you want to uh, look at your career in terms of our experience, reach out to careers at sapsol.com, C-A-R-E-E-R-S at sapsol.com or log on to our website, which is our placement site. And that's www.hirerig.com. And please, do like and subscribe this channel. We will look at more videos, more productive areas for you to look at. And hopefully, uh, together we'll make a journey of success for you and your family. Thank you, guys, and look forward to speak to you again. This is Sam signing off for SAP Careers and Job Seekers Group. Thank you.